Hey guys, so today I'll be taking you through the process of creating, assembling a VR scene using fabric and basically this is a very simple tool to um, quickly generate experiences and even make iterations to those experiences. You can actually have tabs side by side and keep making the changes and then refresh and look at how the 3D scene is looking and without a further ado let's just get into this right, and so this is how the dashboard looks like i just go ahead and create uh experience i'm gonna go with a spooky drive i'll show you why the spooky drive is here yep so when you land into the editor you get a sample scene ready uh, i like to get rid of the ground plane and I generally do that just by getting rid of the dimensions and it's gone. And then uh, that's pretty much it for my scene properties. I want the grid to be there so that I can see where the alignment of elements could be. Now, uh, moving to the UI element tab, this is where you can check and uncheck what you want. So menu, hotspot, all of this is not needed. I don't want this. I want an exit button. That would, that would be nice. All right. Um, for models, generally, I use Sketchfab. And this looks like a really cool model for VR experience. This is, this is amazing. And this is done by Zimasu. Thank you so much. It looks really, really good. So I've downloaded it. Um, in the download settings, I generally prefer GLB. GLTF is also supportive, uh, supported. And yeah, you can go ahead with the larger file as well. That's not an issue. All right, so I have downloaded it. I'll just... drag and drop it over here hmm. it takes a few seconds if the model is a little bit big it will ask you to resize it but yeah this is pretty much fine although in the scene it looks very small hmm. What I like to do is I like to save every step of the way and refresh and see what the scene looks like, uh, like from the camera perspective. Speaking of camera, there is actually a camera setting that you have to start with. So this is 0, 0, I'll show you. you when you go to the co uh, control tab, in the bottom, you'll see camera start, camera start position and camera look at position. So basically camera start position is just moving the position of the camera look at is where it is looking at uh, pretty straightforward but yeah i i took some time to understand this <coughs> all right um a little bit closer okay no i want to see the monsters as well slowly coming into the scene yeah yeah this is pretty good if all right so now it's time to add animations in the models part you just select the model that you want to add animation to and there's an animation animation tab uh, so if the model has an existing animation that has been created on blender or any other plat platform you can just add it directly or if you want to add custom i'll show you how custom looks like so custom has uh, this kind of an appearance so basically you can translate rotate and scale so you can keep adding as many custom animations as you like and there will be a combination of these animations to this model. I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. Uh, yeah. And 
this looks great this looks great this will look amazing in your setting you can add more models you can add more steps and you can add more interactions i'll talk about each and every uh thing how you do it in another video but let's just go ahead and check out how it looks like to export and check what the scene actually looks like here you go ahead and share it basically copies the link it can be and you can run on any browser so you can even embed it into your uh, application if it's like a just simple link see it's working working pretty great hi guys so now we are in the oculus view we have everything set up the boundary is set up now all you need to do is go into the browser i've already added the link up here wait i like to see it like this i mean i can interact it like here also uh but let's go into the vr view this is what we were here for uh perfect oh this is so cool so that's how you quickly set up a vr scene without any hassle but this is the model is so cool you can nice so stay tuned for more videos where i'll be talking about interactions hotspots and i'll go through every single feature we'll be doing more complex things later on this is just a start the way a way to get started and yes we'll see you soon bye bye